Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm gonna to show you a demonstration on how I go about installing uh, Diet Pie or other uh, Debian distributions on an Orange Pi. Now I'm doing this on an Orange Pi 1, but this is gonna to apply to other Orange Pi devices as well. Orange Pi PC, whatever. So I'll leave the description, the downloads in the, in the link in the description. First program I'm using here on my Windows PC, it's uh, Win32 Disk Imager. I've got a uh, SD card, micro SD card plugged into, into the USB drive. And uh, here I'm writing the orange uh, pie, uh, diet pie um, image file. And as that's writing, um, I'm setting up my uh, Linux computer, which is actually a Raspberry Pi. And I'm gonna use that to edit uh, the script.bin file. So, Oh, right, so once you, you're done uh, writing that file, you can see there's some uh, TXT files you can edit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open a terminal um, in the location of the SD card, and I'm going to do a sudo bin to fex and write that script.bin, I'm going to create a script.fex. And we're going to edit the script.fex by typing in sudo nano script.fex and I'm going to go down and find the HDMI para section and here I'm going to add two lines um, you could just do a W uh, control W to search for HDMI para instead of scrolling through the whole thing I'm going to write two lines first is HDCP underscore enable equals zero next line is HDMI underscore CTP CTS sorry underscore compatibility if I could spell it right equals one Gonna clean up that extra line I added there and click control X to save Y to confirm and enter to save as script.fex now that we're done editing the script.fex we can convert it back to a bin file so I'm going to do a sudo fex to bin now vice versa for script.fex then script.bin to write to the script.bin file and that's it now we can uh, boot up our orange, orange pie so again, here, if you want to edit the dietpy.txt or the config.txt file, um, let's say to set up your Wi-Fi or to set up your, like let's say there's some scanning issues on your on your set, on your monitor, you can fix that there. So I'm logging in, root is the login and the normal password is dietpy, for the um, dietpy distribution. And then here it's installing. So I also wanted to try a simpler way to edit the script.bin file on a PC computer, but um, by by editing it the hex by editing it in, in the hex format. So um, that didn't seem to work out because there were a number of changes between um, the edited script.bin and the original script.bin after editing um, the script.fex file. Um, it was kind of strange, so it wasn't very straightforward to edit um, what you would call it, edit the um, hex uh, for script.bin on PC, Windows PC. Okay, so here it's setting up, it's doing its thing. What uh, I want to do is I want to set up a, uh, what do you call it, a graphic user interface. So um, once it loads into the um, into the area where you can install programs. I just install the one program, the, uh, the LXDE Ultralight desktop. And then um, I went through the steps, but I didn't end up doing the step where it auto boots onto that. So it asks, it always requests for a login. And the easiest way to um, boot up into the GUI after you've logged in is just to type in start X. And that seems to be the easiest way. So I left all this footage in here just to show you that it is taking a long time. It is a lot of it very sped up. And um, sit back and let's just enjoy this script running while we listen to some bourgeoisie. Now is a good time to reflect as it's installing. You're probably doing this late at night. How did your day go? Maybe 
plan for tomorrow. Maybe do a little doodle while this is all happening. Maybe you get some inspiration. Maybe you'll do something like Matrixy. You know that Ghost in the Shell movie did just come out? Totally rad cyberpunk stuff if you're editing this. Actually, as I was figuring out how to, uh, well, I was changing a number of settings on uh, a number of uh, orange pies and raspberry pies, I was watching Ghost in the Shell. Initially, I watched it in Russian, which was a lot better. I enjoyed the movie far greater when I didn't understand what they were saying. So everything was dubbed in Russian, which was different because a lot of Russian movies are just subtitled. This is like a big production, so they dubbed the whole thing. And except for Aramaki. So Aramaki, uh, who's played by uh, Takashi. Damn, I can't remember his last name. Was the kid. Whatever. They didn't dub his voice. Okay, so I logged in after booting and I pressed Start X. There we go. And now we're in. So this is the orange pie one, and uh, it's very lightweight. So although it's running on half a gig of RAM, it, um, it's still a challenge to run something. So let's open up um, Firefox here. Actually, I clicked on it a while ago, and it took a little while to boot up. So this is all in real time now. And let's scoot over to YouTube.com, and let's just get something going. On the left, you can see Diapi Config, Diapi Launcher, Diapi Software. Uh, this you could install more programs or edit some whatever Ethernet, Wi-Fi settings. If you want to change your the way it boots up, things like that. And as you can see, I clicked on it. It's fairly slow to respond every time I click on that window here. It. Uh, takes its time to react and uh, one thing I should have done before opening up YouTube for sure is to install the uh, ad blocker so either ad block plus or strict pop-up blocker those are two that I will usually um, installing on my uh, Firefox browsers and then you can go there and uh, start menu as I showed you to load up the terminal I'm scrolling around. Alright, so if you didn't have the FEX to bin uh, thing, do the sudo apt-get install sunxi tools. S-U-N-X-I hyphen tools. And here I'm struggling. Why is this not working? Why is this not working well? You have to write install. So sudo apt-get install sunxi tools. And then you can use the FEX to bin into FEX because it comes with the Sunxy Tools package. Finally, there we go. Glad you're staying on. I just did this as a demonstration to show you that. That's what you need to do if your FEX to be into FEX isn't working. That's all. See you guys next time.